I'd like to show you a quick way of using Excel to help you with your trading. This is uh, going to be one of several videos that we're going to do, so you may want to look for other videos related to the same subject. But we're looking here at a listed race at Cork, and um, if I open up the standard Excel spreadsheet, which has appeared on a different monitor, so I'm going to have to bring this across. I may have to resize this as well. Let's have a look. No, I think you can see enough on there at the moment. Um, what we're going to do is at the top of the uh, Excel sheet here, we have a global command. The global commands you can see are here. And uh, cancel all, take all, SP all, keep all, green all. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, issue a command. One of the problems that people often have is going in running by accident or not closing out quickly enough and forgetting that the race is underway. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a global command and the time and the event start to automatically green us out at the start of a race. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if uh, this time is greater than the start's time then we're going to do the global command green all else we're going to do nothing. So I'm going to hit enter now and you can see that it's doing nothing and that is because until such time as that condition is met, i.e. the current time is greater than the start time, um, it's going to do nothing else it will uh, green out. So what we're going to do now is go back into Bet Angel, and um, if I just go into this market I'm going to do some simple trades. I'm going to start trading over here normally on my uh, version over here and um, we'll see if we can get some orders filled and then we'll let Excel do its magic in the background when the race is underway. We've got about 2 minutes 55 uh, before the start of the race so um, it's going to be a pretty boring wait I'm afraid. Let's put another order in here but um, you should be able to see what happens and uh, the Excel command with a bit of luck should kick in and close us out of our position. Now you could use the Excel command to do anything. Um, you know, we're just using the green all here as a example of what you can do, but you could get it to do take SP all, for example. So, you know, another common problem that people have is forgetting to, that they have orders open in the market and not closing it before the race gets underway. Using take SP all is a good way of um, mitigating that risk. Uh, but obviously you have to be careful about how you use any of these commands because they need to be used for the right uh, circumstance here. Um, so you can see we've got a couple of orders open here. You can see that um, we're slightly down on the deal at the moment. Second order's gone in, so we're looking for the favourite to drift a bit. Um, I'm busy trading over here at the moment and, and I think that the favourite is going to stay pretty much in the same place at the moment. He's coming in slightly. There's a bit of pressure for him to come in. But you can see we could do with filling at 5.8, but I think we're a little bit... Uh, there's, there's not enough pressure building on him uh, to fill at 5.8 at the moment. I'm going to squeeze another order in here. I'm going to leave this position open anyway, uh, simply because uh, we want to demonstrate how Excel can exit for you. So I'm deliberately letting this run in the hope that we have an open position just before the off. It's a relatively quiet market. Still continued pressure on this favourite to come in. Maybe we'll try the opposite sort of trade. Back it at 5.5 .5 and see if we can get it filled as it comes in. Which, uh, knowing a trader's sod's law, will mean that it will do the opposite. So you can see we've got a variety of positions here. I'm busy trading on a different account on the right hand side which you can't see, and we're just um, letting this get on with itself, waiting for these orders to fill. Still waiting for the orders to fill at 5.8, which I don't think is going to realistically happen unless if it drifts quite dramatically before the start, and I can't see that that's going to happen. So, Only got a few seconds left. If I bring up the timer here, you can see how much time we've got left, and you'll see what will happen when that timer breaches zero. There you go. You can see we didn't have to do a thing there. Um, because we just pre-programmed the Excel spreadsheet 
with the command I'm busy trading over here I didn't have to worry about what was going on over to my left and Excel closed that position for us when the clock went past zero so that's just one of the little tricks that you can use um, by using the Excel functionality uh, alongside BetAngel.